Well everyone, it's finally here. The official 500 subscriber Q&A video is now up and running. Before we start, I would like to thank everyone who participated in the Q&A. Every question that has been asked has been leading up to this very moment where I will be answering each and every one of them in one whole separate video. So I appreciate it. I will begin answering the questions from my Q&A and not spin video on YouTube first since that was the core for discussion. My Discord server was just an alternative. I also want to mention that if I do ever forget to answer your questions, which hopefully I won't, just comment below this video and I will answer with a reply. Otherwise, let's get started. my plumber's update video, but I do remember saying that Super Mario Mario and Luigi's updates are final during the opening. However, I might have said that their fixes on that video will be the last before my hiatus in the fall of 2019. But judging from recent feedback and some testing of my own, I never caught any major mishaps or hiccups from both of those characters as of late. And given the in timelines 1 to 3. It's just that she has this optimistic, extroverted charm that always puts a smile on my face. However, in timelines 4 to 5, that charm seemed to have undergone a switch due to the fact that Homer came around more
said my strong fondness for diamonds back in the day was what led to the blue curb you all see now. About the 8-bit sunglasses, uh, it was an extra addition back when I was obsessed with the swag slang, so that's a thing. I mean, I barely acknowledge it nowadays in my videos, so yeah. How did you get into- Will you be hosting anything like streams, viewer interactives, etc? Man, I actually wish I could host a stream someday. In fact, right before I made the announcement, I tried doing a streaming test using OBS, the Mugen Engine, and my second channel, RubySwag12. However, I kept encountering several problems such as the fact that the video would pause every 30 seconds for about like a second, and the fact that the stream will automatically stop in the middle of it. Needless to say, those two problems I've listed are reoccurring problems for every test I perform, and it was driving me crazy, so I eventually gave up on it. Unless you have some solution to those problems I've listed, then I might not be able to do any streams for a while. Jillian asks, could you make a Mugen character for Kirby? I actually thought of making a Kirby character for a while now, but the biggest problem that's preventing me from doing so is the lack of sprites from every Kirby-related character I've seen on Spider's resources. I know there's sprites online that I could take a look at, but even those are limited. So unless there's a legitimate sprite sheet of a character from the Kirby franchise that I can work with, then I can't say chances are high. What inspired you to create these characters? Um, like I said, Ace, DBC, Mugen, and to an extent, Dark Chaos inspired me to create characters. How could I get into characters last stage creating? What programs to use, sprites, asset ripping, etc. Well, to create characters in stages, you're gonna need Fighter Factory. I personally recommend Fighter Factory 3 since it's one of the more convenient versions. As for sprite ripping, I usually just do a quick Google search for sprites of various characters like Mario or Sonic. However, I mainly use the Spider's resource website since it's pretty much the central hub for that kind of thing. As for the characters themselves, well, there's a lot to learn. I'd recommend checking out Ryan's tutorial since his videos are mostly based on the process of basic character creations. Juanito Rosales asks, What will happen if you add any Gaigas edits? AKA, do you want to add any? Well, I already have uh, Comedy Gaigas, Lolgas, and Gaigas by Look the Mewtwo, so I feel like that's more than enough for my roster. Ferex14 asks, 
do you plan to work on a particular character? Your characters are excellent. For now, no. As I said, when I step out of Hiatus, I plan to update an old character of mine. Also, thanks for the compliment. What's going to happen to your channel? Well, so far, nothing big is going to happen on my channel unless I suddenly think of something utterly fascinating. It's going to continue having good old mutant fights, gameplays, and YouTube poops, which I haven't gone into in a while for some reason. Huh. Alexander Cooper 19 asks, What are your thoughts on Friday Night Funkin'? Um, I guess it's alright, I'll be challenging at times unless you practice often. I haven't gone through story mode yet, just the free play mode. I do think the songs and art style are pretty decent to look at though. Christopher the Toon Bird asks, Why did you remake Super Better Mario, Luigi, Bowser Jr., and Ashley, and will there be more characters and more updates in the future? I remade Super Mario, Mario, Luigi, Bowser Jr., and Ashley because as time passed, I gradually became shunned at the old versions due to abysmal coding and awkward movements and content that was enough to put a bad taste in my mouth. In short, they did not age well, from my perspective at least. Also, yes, once I'm out of this hiatus birdcage of mine, I might be able to get back to my mutant creations. Plus, the major update of one of my old characters is another thing. Juanito slash Galaxy Man asks, Favorite stage in Mugen? Kind of a hard choice there, but I'm more leaning towards the Vocaloid stage, Aqua Sky. But mostly because of the music I implemented into it that really fits my opinion. That being from the game Freedom Planet, that is. Um, the visuals are nice to look at though. What's your favorite hyper in Mugen? What's your thoughts about SMG4? Well, I used to binge watch SMG4 up until 2018 where at the time he shifted his random retarded tone over to dramatic narration with new characters such as Maggie, Psycho, etc, etc. While I do tolerate SMG4's tone shift on his newer videos, I just rarely watch them nowadays. Maybe it's because I was a bit too used to the LLL so random humor type back when I was binge watching him, hence why I stick to those videos. I still hope that SMG4 keeps doing what he's doing, even though if I don't watch his newer videos that much anymore. Yochi the Master 333 asks, Did you even make other OCs aside from your self inserts? Kirby OCs, Pokemon OCs, etc. Actually, before I turned my self insert blue and added sunglasses, I had a Kirby OC who was full on red according to this old banner I have here. Man, was I such a novice in graphic design back then or what? When you started playing Mugen before your YouTube channel has been made? Well, technically, I made my channel during the summer of 2015 and started playing Mugen in early 2016, which is approximately a year since, I guess. I even still remember a certain recording program I had that was so insipid on so many levels and full of frame rate problems. Ah, <sighs> good times. Keon Brace asks, Do you sometimes look to branch out from Mugen? Given there are expansive modern communities in other games, do you want to indulge in another game? Even just to experiment how it will go? I'd honestly be open to the idea. However, the only games that I know vividly have modern communities are Doki Doki Literature Club and Super Mario 64. And even then, I only played Doki Doki Literature Club once and never played Super Mario 64 at all. 
Except for the DS version, but I know for a fact that the mods for that are rare. I mostly just watch gameplays on YouTube and that's that. It's pretty much a easier said than done kind of situation. Valerie asks, any Mugen character slash edits that are personally your favorites? What is your favorite Mugen screen pack? The one I'm currently using, of course. And last but not least, Pedro Gulhermi, I don't know how to pronounce the last name, sorry, asks, any anime cartoon that are your favorites? Well, for anime, there's the only one piece of media that I'll cherish for eternity, and that's obviously Pauline Magica Madoka Magica. As for cartoons, I've watched so many of them that it's pretty hard for me to choose which one is my all-time favorite. If I had to choose though, my favorite cartoon would be Samurai Jack, mostly due to the fact that I could relate to a certain season, and due to the fact that I also watched many clips of it, many times. Alright, I think I've gone through everyone's questions for both YouTube and Discord. Remember, if I do ever end up skipping any one of your questions, then comment below your question that I've missed, and I will reply with an answer. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this Q&A video, and thanks especially to those who have participated in it as well. I'm confident that we'll make the most out of the second half of the 1000 subscriber milestone, so please be sure to keep up the support so we'll reach it in no time. Thanks again for watching the Q&A, and I'll see you next time.